Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Liz. Hello. And so basically, my channel is doing DIYs and fun, really cool stuff. And plus, what we're doing today is making this painting of, well, that's my name, but it's mine. But you can also do different things. So, let's get started. And if you enjoy this video, like it and please subscribe. Okay. So, the things you need are lots of Q-tips. Let me see if I can get that in the view. There we go. There's awesome Q-tips. And then you will need colored paint, however many you want. Masking tape. Ah, that didn't work. Okay. And then you'll need a paper plate. The paper plate is to hold the paint. Just letting you know. OMG, I forgot you need paper too. Just saying. There we go. Oh, oh no. Okay. So then we'll start wherever you want. And then you just basically go down until you think you are done with making the E awesome. So oh yeah, you might need scissors too, because I'm afraid to rip it. So Then you can make like it straight across, or you can make it like kind of like a diagonal. So like you'll pick up the top corner of the tape, and then you will go down. So it's kind of got that like slant to it. Well, here's the garbage thing. And then down here you can do the same thing. Okay, so then you'll do that with your other pieces of tape. So now that you have done your taping job, make sure it's perfectly smooth. And now you can start getting your paints out. And so e you can use each end of the Q-tip. One can be one end and then the other can be the other end. So let's make sure you can see this. You can kind of see it. So let's choose a color. And remember, under this tape is going to be totally white. So you're going to want to fill in as much as you can. So let's start with the corner and then go across and just make tiny dots. Well, as big as of dots as the Q-tip will make. And then just go along with it. It's okay if it's not perfect because it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be really messy. That's why I call this the messy. Because I'm a terrible painter. So this is the messy. Hashtag the messy. So if you have this in your room, let me know below in the comments. Okay, so you can do as many rows as you want, or sometimes you can like do something different along the way. Like in my other one, I went diagonally, but this is my first one that I'm going across. So then you can write different phrases with it, or things that make you happy, like stuffed animals and donuts make me happy. So. I should have put a donut on here, but I'm not that artistic. No way. <laughs> and then you can switch colors. And then make sure everything is dotted. 
and there are supposed to be some white spots. Now flip the other edge and then you can change to a different color like purple. So for purple you can do as many rows as you want. Now this blue is in the way so basically you can either go around it or cover it. Usually I cover it because like it doesn't really make that big of a difference. It might just tint the purple a little bit but it's all good. Oh, and remember, don't wear your favorite shirt because it might get ruined and I don't want to be responsible for ruining your favorite shirt. So, please, do not wear your favorite shirt. It's a warning. Okay, so then you're going to switch to a different Q-tip and I will go to red because there's three colors, but not four. So, <laughs> now you can go across and make this beautiful. And remember to have a place that underneath so that your mom does not get angry if you got paint on the table. And then you're just going to go across like so and then you just keep on repeating it until you hit like the middle which i will show you when i get there okay so now we've made it halfway well i think that's halfway but anyway so now we're gonna do a different design in the center so we're gonna take our blue. Oh no, I got a little bit of blue on me. But oh well, it's just my thumb. My thumb's not that important. So basically, since there's that line there though, so we're just gonna have to go around it. So you're gonna go up, down, kind of like a triangle type thing. But since that's there, you can't really do that. So then we'll just kind of go like that with every other one. So. Let's do purple next. We're just going to switch it up a bit. And then we're going to do red. And that's what we're going to keep doing for this little section here. So that you get a bit of a different style. So, just do like every other piece. Doesn't have to be perfect because you will just fill it in or make bigger ones. Do you think that's enough room for the red? I think so. Just make the red really thick. Or the purple thick. Doesn't matter. Okay. The purple would go there. Okay, so now we'll just fill it in with the red. And then it'll be a really cool design. And it'll be different than the rest. So it'll kind of just like fade out and then we'll do switch. So, oh wait, there needs to be a little bit of red back here. And then we need to have a bit of purple to get that effect that it goes across. So let's just see, it goes like right there. So we need to like add a bit. Because Everything must be in line. And remember, for the last finishing touch, just end with the last color in your pattern. So since I started with blue, then purple, then red, I finished with a thick red bottom at the bottom of my page. And so it kind of gives that, like, keep going pattern so that, like, if you went like this, the blue would keep going. Um, and the powder would just go along with it and so now you see how we have that pattern in the center and I got thicker along the way so like we started with one purple stripe then we got to two purple stripes and then we got to three purple stripes towards the end so it's kind of like all different thicknesses and color patterns and different changes and so we'll peel off the tape when it dries and then after it's totally dry after you do um your hair drying business to your paper. Then you're just gonna peel the tape off, but slowly so that you don't like 
peel off the paper like I did the first time. So then you're going to come out with this E on your paper. And you didn't um, need, well you did need a stencil because that's what the tape's for. But um, it looks like a professional did it. Well, the E, but not everything else because I am not a professional. <laughs> so then let's peel off the tape. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and try this at home. Bye.